Good morning, Avon Park Red Devils. Welcome to the 2021 to 2022 Homecoming Assembly. This is your chance to meet the candidates for the 2021 to 2022 Homecoming King and Queen, as well as the Prince and Princesses from each class. The APHS Future Business Leaders of America and Robotics Club are proud to host this event for you today. I am Gabby Howard, a senior and your APHS FBLA president. And I'm Ashton Dennison, an FBLA member. We would like to thank all of our FBLA members, FFA members, Robotics Club, Mrs. Whitten, Mrs. Crothers, and Ms. Meeks, who helped decorate and plan for today. We also want to give a special thank you to Ms. Sakura Tyler from Jenny's Flowers in Naval Park for her beautiful decoration work on our homecoming art and the Roses Roses. Parents and special guests in attendance, we ask that you please remain in your seats for the duration of the program. And now representing the freshman, sophomore, and junior princes and princesses. For freshman, prince, and princess, Jeron Jones and Zoe Ayala. Zoe is the daughter of Sandra and Joey Ayala. Her favorite things to do are baking, dancing, and hanging out with her friends. Her favorite high school memory is winning homecoming freshman princess. She is involved in basketball and dance. Upon graduation, Zoe plans to attend Ohio University with the intention of opening up her own bakery one day. The most influential people in her life are her sisters because they have gone through the same things that she has and they have overcome them and are very successful now. Jeron is the son of Gwen Jones. One of his favorite things to do is play basketball while he listens to music. His favorite high school memory is when he baked muffins with his best friend during culinary class. He is involved in both football and basketball. Upon graduation, he plans to attend FSU. The most influential person in his life is his parents because they always give 100% when it comes to taking care of him and his siblings. And now your sophomore prince and princess, Jermaine Myers and Perry Prelo. Terry is the daughter of Sherry and Tommy Prelo. One of her favorite things to do is to hang out with her friends and family. Her favorite high school memory is being sophomore princess. Terry is involved in both cheerleading and avid. Upon graduation, she plans to attend UCF and major in nursing to become an RN. The most influential person in her life is her mom because when something doesn't go the way she planned, she's always, always great about coming up with a new plan. Jermaine is the son of Jermaine Myers and Lovely Hilton. One of his favorite things to do is to play basketball and have fun with his friends. His favorite high school memories are from traveling to different places with his team. Jermaine is involved in basketball and avid. Upon graduation, he plans to go to trade school to become a lineman. The most influential people in his life are his parents because of their hard work, guidance, and genuine love and care. And now, your junior prince and princess, Jack Barbin and Brianna Johnson. Brianna is the daughter of Brian and Coetta Johnson. Her favorite things to do are playing volleyball with her friends and family and going shopping with her mom. Her favorite high school memory is having the opportunity to be junior princess. Brianna is on the varsity volleyball team. Upon graduation, she plans to attend either Florida State University, University of Central Florida, or Florida Gulf Coast University to become an RN. The most influential people in her life are her mom and sister. Her mom is always there for her, for, for teaching her lessons about life, and her sister inspires her to never give up on her dreams and goals in life. Jack is the son of John and Laura Barbin. One of his favorite things to do is to go out with the boys. His favorite high school memory is going to regionals for swim during his freshman year. Jack is involved with the APHS swim team, basketball team, FFA, 4-H, Interactive National Honor Society. Upon graduation, he plans to attend either Auburn University or Ole Miss to major in agriculture. The most influential people in his life are his parents because they always push him to work hard and he wouldn't be the person he is today without them. And now representing the senior class in alphabetical order, your Avon Park High School 2021-2022 homecoming king and queen candidates. First, Jamal Charles and Dulce Badillo. 
Dulce is the daughter of Maria Hernandez and Javier Badillo. One of her favorite things to do is to be involved in FFA activities such as farm hours and riding around with baseball. Her favorite high school memory is when she was riding in a car on the way back from the Jordan Christian football game. It was storming badly and lightning struck so close to the car that she could feel the heat from it. They prayed they would make it safely to Colwood, and they did. Dulce is an active AVID member and a proud FFA chapter officer. Upon graduation, she plans to attend the University of South Florida and participate in their radiology. The most influential person in her life is her sister because she is a great role model who always inspires her to achieve big things. Jamal is the son of Soleil Charles and Bruno Sonata. His favorite things to do are going to the gym and practicing football. He also likes to play on his PS4. His favorite high school memory is when he started in a playoff game his freshman year. Jamal is involved in football, weightlifting, and track. Upon graduation, he would like to attend either FAU, BCU, MSU, or ASU, or Albright College to major in marketing. The most influential people in his life are his family because they have always provided for him and guided him through life, so he needs to pay them back. Your next two candidates are Landon Cox and Angelica Bautista. Angelica Bautista is the daughter of Estrella and Nassar Bautista. One of her favorite things to do is work out in her free time. Her favorite high school memories are her weightlifting meets and going to parties with friends. She was involved in the weightlifting team and went to state. Upon graduation, Angelica plans to attend South Florida State College for automotive collision and then go into the Army. The most influential people in her life are her mother and her sister because they are the most determined people she knows. Landon is the son of Jonathan and Stephanie Cox. One of his favorite things to do is to sing with the show choir. His favorite high school memory is when he did an activity with the Abbott family where they had to try to instruct someone who was blindfolded to put a puzzle together. Landon is involved with show choir, choir, senior class, peer mentoring, and peer leaders. Upon graduation, he plans to attend the Fashion Institute of Technology and begin working at John Casablanca's model and talent management. The most influential person in his life is his mom because she has been the most supportive to him and inspires him to be himself. Your next candidates are Carson Danzi and Amanda Catania. Amanda Catania is the daughter of Maria Catania. Her favorite thing to do is hang out with her friends and family. Her favorite high school memory is being able to have fun in and out of school with her friends and making memories she'll never forget. Amanda is involved in both cross country and track and field. Upon graduation, she plans to attend a four-year college. The most influential person in her life is her mom because she taught her how to be independent and is always there for her when she's happy or sad. Carson Danzi is the son of Monica and Patrick Danzi. His favorite things to do are going surfing and flying. His favorite high school memory is having fun in school field. Carson is involved in football, golf, cross country, track and field, and soccer. Upon graduation, he plans to attend UF or Embry-Riddle. The most influential people in his life are his parents because they push him to do his best and set him up for success. The next candidates are Kenneth Esplin Montanez and Paris Ishmael. Paris Ishmael is the daughter of Coletta Mobley and Charles Ishmael. One of her favorite things to do is to spend time with her friends and family. Her favorite high school memory is going to Disney for cheer nationals. She'll never forget her first Disney trip and the people she got to experience it with. Paris is involved in cheerleading for football and competition in National Honor Society. Upon graduation, she plans to attend the University of South Florida. She plans to have a part-time job to help pay for college. The most influential people in her life are her mom and her uncle because they inspire her to never give up on the people she loves and that if there's a will, there's a way. Kenneth Esplin Montanez is the son of Carlos and Brenda Esplin. His favorite things to do are playing volleyball, soccer, track, and hanging out with his friends. His favorite high school memory is when he competed in districts for track and field and won district champion in the 110-meter hurdles. 
He also got his PR in both the 110 and the 300 meter, meter hurdles that day. Upon graduation, he plans to attend Weber International University and major in business management and marketing. He also plans to play men's volleyball for the university. The most influential pe pe people in his life is his mom because she taught him to keep pushing through no matter how hard. Your next candidates are Stanley Waldman and Hadley Jackson. Hadley Jackson is the daughter of Ronnie and Kelly Jackson. One of her favorite things to do is intern at Avon Elementary with Mrs. Fox and Ms. Jackson's class of amazing kids. Her favorite high school memory is going into Aunt Kim's class every day since freshman year for lunch bunch with Ms. Henderson. Upon graduation, Hadley plans to attend Florida Southern to major in education and become a children's occupational therapist. The most influential person in her life is her dad because he's always in her corner and pushes her to be the best person she can be, even if she doesn't always listen the first time. Stanley Holdman is the son of Shakara Davis. His favorite things are spending time with friends and family. He also enjoys playing baseball and sometimes football in his free time. His favorite high school memories are playing baseball and going out to lunch with his friends. He is involved in both fall and spring ball. Upon graduation, Stanley plans to attend Bethune-Cookman University. The most influential person in his life is his mom because she keeps him focused and puts him on the right track. Your next candidates, Phoenix King and Adriana Martinez. Adriana Martinez is the daughter of Karina Hopkin and Gabriel Martinez. Her favorite things to do is to go to the beach. Her favorite high school memories are parties in Mr. Schofield's class and getting crowned junior princess. She's involved in varsity cheerleading, cross country, track and field, SGA, AVID, and AP Capstone. Upon graduation, Adriana plans to obtain a degree in dental hygiene. The most influential person in her life is her mom because she never gives up and always stays strong. Phoenix King is the son of Daniel King. His favorite things to do are hanging out with his friends, watching movies, and skateboarding. His favorite high school memory is bothering Mr. Williams during class changes every day and hanging, having great discussions. He was involved in swimming his freshman year and is still involved in football and choir. Upon graduation, Phoenix plans to attend either South Florida State College, Daytona State College, or Santa Fe. The most influential people in his life are his father and his friends because they always push him to do the best no matter how stubborn he is. Your next candidates are Yang Moore and Brianna Martinez. Brianna Martinez is the daughter of Karina Hobson and Gabriel Martinez. Her favorite things to do are hang out with friends, bond with her teammates, and sleep. Her favorite high school memory is freshman homecoming. Brianna is involved in competitive cheerleading, cross country, track and field, AVID, AP Capstone, Panther Youth Partners, and National Honor Society. On graduation, she plans to attend the University of South Florida. The most influential in her life is Mama Handy because she always pushes her to be her best. And without her, she would have struggled with the college application. Yang is the son of B. Lauren Bao Yang. His favorite thing to do is hang out and joke around with his friends. His favorite high school memories are when he went to Universal with their robotics club and choir and also when he actually called Miss Meek's mom, and now they call each other mom and son. Yang is involved with the robotics club and helps out at school events doing video slash sound. On graduation, he plans to attend Florida Polytechnic University and major in autonomous robotics. The most influential person in his life is Miss Meek's or mom because she always pushes him to do his best even though he may be the laziest student she knows. Next, from Morgan McCracken and Dana Reese McCracken. Dana Reese Mercado is the daughter of Olga Ortiz and Miguel Lopez. Her favorite things to do are hanging out with her friends, having bonfires, and going riding. Her favorite high school memory is when the entire choir received a superior at MPA her sophomore year. Dana Reese is involved in AVID, choir, FBLA, SGA, FFA, senior class office, volleyball, peer leaders, peer mentoring, and AP Capstone. 
Upon graduation, she plans to attend either UCF, FGCU, or Van U to major in juvenile criminal psychology. The most influential people in her life are Ms. Barrett, Ms. Loomis, and her sister because they inspire her to continue pushing through life no matter the obstacles she faces or how difficult it may be. Working at this sign of my question in the back end, one of his favorite things to do is get the wedding floor for floors for the boys. His favorite high school memory is having fun with all of his friends at Mr. De La Cruz's class. Morgan is involved in the Mason G. Smoke Foundation, FFA, and golf. Upon graduation, he plans to attend UNF and to major in business and minor in education. The most influential person in his life was his grandpa. He was a hardworking man who always found a way to uplift the people around him. Your next candidates are Josue Mendiola and Catherine Murray. Catherine is the daughter of Rebecca and Garnet Murray. Her favorite things to do are hanging out with friends after practice, working out, and eating food while binge watching Netflix shows. Her favorite high school memory was during her junior year when they went to the first away football game in Lake Placid. The lights on the field went out and they danced a party in the USA with the football players. Catherine is involved in varsity cheerleading, student government, National Honor Society, cross country, and track and field. Upon graduation, she plans to attend either South Florida State College or University of Central Florida. Her dream is to become a dermatologist. The most influential per people in her life are her parents and her boyfriend because they push her to strive towards her goals no matter what it takes because a goal without a plan is only a dream. Josue Mandiola is the son of Maria and Parthirio Mandiola. His favorite things to do are playing soccer with all the boys and playing high school and playing video games. He is on the APHS soccer team. His favorite high school memory is when the soccer team made it to the district semifinals last year. Upon graduation, he plans to attend college to become a mechanical engineer. The most influential people in his life are his parents because they have always been in his corner and have helped him become the person he is today. <laughs> the next candidates are Hector Perez and Summer Robinson. Summer Robinson is the daughter of Brian and Penny Robinson. Her favorite things to do are hanging out with friends and spending time with family. Her favorite high school memories are going to cheer competitions with her cheer team because they would laugh, talk, and sing the whole way there. It was always an amazing bonding experience. Summer is part of the varsity cheerleading and competition team as well as track and field. Upon graduation, she plans to go to a four-year university where she'll major in finance. The most influential people in her life are her parents because they have taught her that she can do anything she wants to do. As long as she tries her hardest and never gives up, she can do great things. Hector Perez is the son of Freddy Perez. His favorite things to do are playing football and running track. He's involved in varsity football and track and field. His favorite high school memories are from Friday night football. Upon graduation, Hector plans to attend the University of South Florida. The most influential people in his life are his loved ones because they push him to be who he wants to be and have made him who the man who he is today. Your final candidates are Joshua Regino, Garrett Rowe, and Jakiah Smith. Jakiah Smith is the daughter of Mika Ford and Johnny Smith. Her favorite things are going out with friends and hanging out with family. She has been involved in cheerleading all four years of high school. Her favorite high school memory is going to state and nationals with her cheer competition team. Upon graduation, Jakaya plans to attend a four-year university to major in nursing and become a general nurse practitioner. The most influential person in her life is her mom because she has shown her that she can do anything that she wants to do as long as she puts her mind to it. Joshua Regino is the son of Claudia and Jose Regino. His favorite things to do are work out and play baseball. He is involved in varsity baseball, student government, National Honor Society, and peer leaders. His favorite high school memory is beating Sebring in baseball during a home game. Upon graduation, Joshua plans to attend either UF, USF, or UCF. He would like to apply to medical school to become a surgeon. The most influential person in his life is his brother because he always sets a good example for him and pushes him to do his best.
Garrick Rowe is the son of Ashley and Gerald Rowe. His favorite things to do are hanging out with his family and friends and playing sports. He plays on the varsity baseball team. One of his favorite high school memories is winning the district baseball championship his freshman year. On graduation, he plans to go to college and play baseball. The most influential people in his life are his parents and grandparents. They push him towards greatness and they have taught him so much. He couldn't ask them for more. Remember to show your school spirit for the rest of this week by dressing up. Tomorrow, the theme is Western Wednesday. Show us your Western wear. Thursday, join us for Class Color Wars Day. Freshmen wear green, sophomores wear yellow, juniors wear blue, seniors wear purple, and staff wears black. Finally, on Friday, wear school colors to show your school pride. Please remember to honor the dress code on all of these days. The homecoming parade will be on Thursday at 5 o'clock, starting on Field Avenue. Homecoming pregame show will begin at 6.30 p.m. and the game at 7.30 p.m. Come out and cheer on the Red Devils as they take on Clueston. Let's give all our candidates another round of applause as they come on stage one more time. First, our freshman, first our freshman prince and princess, John Jones and Zoe Ayala. Sophomore Prince and Princess, Jermaine Myers and Terry Prelo. Junior Prince and Princess, Jack Barbin and Brianna Johnson. And now let's give one more round of applause for our King and Queen candidates. Jamal Charles and Dulce Badillo. Lana Cox and Angelica Bautista. Carson Danzi and Amanda Catania. Hannah Espo and Montanez and Paris Vishno. Stanley Holdman and Hadley Jackson. Phoenix King and Adriana Martinez. Yang, Laura, and Brianna Martinez. Morgan McCracken and Janice Mercado. Josue Mendiola and Catherine Murray. Hector Perez and Summer Robinson. Josh Regino, Garrett Rowe, and Ja'Kaya Smith. FBLA and Robotics were proud to host today's event. Thank you teachers and students for tuning in and families for attending. Teachers at this time, please distribute the Scantron ballots to your students and collect to vote. SGA members will be around to pick up the ballots shortly. Families, we ask you please maintain social distance as you exit the auditorium. This concludes our homecoming assembly.